Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to a new video. Today, I will be making a spoiler free and short review of Stephen King's It adaptation based off the book with the same name. The film takes place in Derry, Maine, a small town being haunted by a being from another world. It takes place in the time of October 1988 up to August of 1989. The film does not feel cursory or boring at any point and actually has a pretty interesting plot. They didn't go too deep with the backstory of Pennywise, however, because they plan on saving that for the sequel. The film has some gruesome and thrilling scenes in it, along with some funny, comedic dialogue. The film focuses on a group of kids known as the Losers Club, and their endeavor to uncover Derry's dark past and put a stop to it. The Losers Club eventually derived the truth of it, and how it lures children in by being a clown named Pennywise. Pennywise can also simulate the fears of the children, because he gets stronger or weaker depending how scared the child is. The Losers Club surmise that it comes every 27 years and eventually corroborate that guess. The children are cautious when confronting it and make sure not to succumb to Pennywise's twisted mind games. The film has an awesome climax and in the end, it is defeated. Not fully, but he's defeated. He flees away to rest for another 27 years, only to come back in the sequel. This film gets things right when it comes to the confrontations of Pennywise and the Losers Club. In the original miniseries, Pennywise would pick up about one or two of them and scare the rest away or something. In the new one, Pennywise actually gets ready to eat one of the kids, or depending who it is, he gets ready to kill them before getting interrupted by another person in the Losers Club. This happens a lot. It happens with Eddie, Richie, Ben... Mike, Beverly, and even Stan in the film. So it basically happens to most all of them. Except for one, which is Bill. Bill manages to survive on his own when it comes to confronting Pennywise by himself. He proves this in the basement scene, when he sees Georgie in his home and follows him to the basement. But really, it's just a hallucination created by Pennywise. Pennywise then runs after Bill, and Bill manages to escape alive, luckily. In the film, it really does feel like these people aren't actors, but they're actual kids who know each other and are real friends. And, you know, their friendship is pretty strong in the film. Richie, of all, is the comedic one, which he's always cracking jokes even at the worst timing possible. Eddie is funny when he gets, like, super mad and he's like starts cussing and all that. The rest of the characters, they're solid characters. They're more terrified and more serious. Richie and Eddie are also serious and terrified, but there's times when they say stuff that are not intentionally supposed to be funny, but are. There's a scene in the climax, which I will not spoil, but you can check that out on my main channel, or depending which channel you're watching this on, I do a full in-depth one-hour review of it where I explain every scene in detail. So, Pennywise in this film, he, we see him a few times in the daylight, just not that much. Most of the time, he makes sure to go after the kids when they're uh, either all together or alone. He does this with Mike, he does this with Beverly, he does this with Ben, he does it with everybody in the Losers Club. Because he knows that if he gets one of them scared, they won't survive. Bill makes this point later on in the film as well when they're about to confront Pennywise all together for the first time. Bill states how they all survive because they're together, they're working together so they stay safe. Pennywise's weakness is Beverly out of everybody in the Losers Club because Beverly is actually the only person not afraid of Pennywise. The only time she is is when Pennywise tries to make himself like her dad, which causes her to be scared. In the film, it's highly hinted that Beverly has been raped by her father multiple times in the film, and it's kind of creepy once you find that out. The bullies in the film are also really good. You know, there's solid performances as well, especially with the main bully. There's a funny moment in the film in which uh, they have a rock war, and there's, I believe it was a Metallica song in the background, and it was just a real fun and uh, awesome scene where the Losers Club finally stand up to the bullies. Most people have said that the film's all funny and no scary scenes, but there actually are. Some of the times it's jump scares, or some of the time it's because you're hoping one of the main characters doesn't die even though you know they're not, but you just have that hint of hope that they don't. This happens multiple times, such as the projector scene, 
the scene in the house in which Richie's all alone in a room full of clowns. The scene where Eddie is confronted by Pennywise in which uh, the scene is called Time to Float. And other scenes. This film was a really fun and scary film, I'm not gonna lie. Me having a fear of clowns, obviously I was gonna find this film terrifying. Even if you have a fear of clowns, you shouldn't worry that much about this film. It's It doesn't like focus too much on Pennywise himself. So you won't have to worry about seeing a clown most of the time, but he does appear quite a bit in the film. I'm going to give it an A-. minus. Uh, you should go watch it if you haven't already. If you have, let me know in the comments what you thought about this movie. Anyways, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.